welcome to VGK Today, presented by MGM Rewards, a daily podcast bringing you an inside look at the Vegas Golden Knights 2023 Stanley Cup playoff run. I'm Justin Russo with the Golden Knights on Saturday, May 27th, and tonight the VGK are back home and ready for their second opportunity to advance to the Stanley Cup Final in Game 5 versus the Dallas Stars. Vegas fell in overtime for the first time this postseason in Game 4, but they have reasons to be confident ahead of tonight. As mentioned, they're going to be back home at the Fortress. They have a goalie in Aiden Hill who has stopped 73 of the last 76 shots he's faced, and they're taking on a Dallas Stars team that will still be without their captain, Jamie Benn, as he finishes serving his two-game suspension. Many reasons for optimism tonight, and an exciting one ahead at the Fortress. To help set the stage, we welcome Darren Millard on to today's show. Justin, what does this day offer? A second opportunity to close out Dallas and qualify for the Stanley Cup Championship Series. That is is what is in front of us today. Vegas returns to the Fortress for a 5 o'clock start in Game 5 of the Western Conference Final. Come out and join us on the plaza for plenty of pregame fun, including another chance to get some free ink from Joey and the company at Revolt Tattoo. More on that later as I try to convince Justin to go down this path. Uh, that's the way we're going to finish up. Justin, you and I, we're going to have to come together on this. Of course, the post-game scene could put its own stamp on the strip, knowing the prize that a victory would secure. The Campbell Conference Bowl will be in the building. The NHL prepared to present Golden Knights captain Mark Stone with the trophy, emblematic of the best team in the West. Vegas won the hardware on the road in 2018 in Winnipeg. And if there's a silver lining... To be prevented the sweep in Dallas the other night now offers the opportunity to enjoy a clinching moment at home. In year one, in the absence of a captain, Derek Englund accepted the trophy from Deputy Commissioner Bill Daly. It would be Stone's honor this season. And I wonder, has he gone through the, do we touch the trophy or not? What do we do? Or just decide on the fly personally. And this is just me. I like accepting the goods, get a great picture on the ice, carry it off to the room, get some more pictures, have some fun with it. If it happens at home, the building tonight will be rocking. I'm not suggesting you carry it around like the ultimate prize, the Stanley Cup, but it's hardware. You earn that. You're champions of the Western Conference. Best of 16 teams enjoy that moment and the accomplishment that it represents. Uh, of course, there's a, a lot that has to fall into place to ignite that party and secure a Stanley Cup final matchup between Vegas and Florida. The Golden Knights require a fourth win in this series against Dallas, who extended their season on Thursday. Based on the front part of this set, don't be surprised if overtime is required this evening. Games have had a tendency to go beyond regulation. It's already happened three times in the series. Strangely, though, Things have been decided in the opening few minutes in all three. I asked Bruce Cassidy about his approach to bench management in overtime, considering the importance of the opening couple of minutes compared to the potential of a marathon. Well, we approach it like we're going to use everybody, but you're coming out of an intermission, so we haven't got far enough, I don't think, to sort of say we're going to play three lines for a stretch here or... or um, you know, double up if a line's really had a good shift. Uh, so that would be it. But um, we would still use everybody, you know, uh, like Winnipeg, for example, right? We went into a second overtime. We used our all four lines. They probably played a shifter maybe less a period or two, but the line that scored the goal was Howden, Barbashev, and Amadio. So, you know, I think it works for us. It just does. I mean, I can typically our fourth line at, Maybe they don't score as much, but you can rely on them to defend well and play the right way. So it might neutralize one of their offensive lines, and then you have an imbalance with your next three. So I've looked at it that way a lot. Regular season, overtime. Obviously, things are magnified in overtime, one mistake. But I think our fourth line are usually not victimized by poor mistakes. And sometimes the other team just makes a good play and are out there against good players. Dallas captain Jamie Benn will miss tonight, serving out his two-game suspension for the cross-check to Mark Stone in Game 3. The Stars have also confirmed injury has prevented Evgeny Dodonov from making the trip to Vegas. It means the VGK will face a team minus 
two of its top six forwards. Bruce Cassidy will have last change back in his favor and the opportunity to more easily match the dynamic Rope Hintz and Jason Robertson with the William Carlson line. That's the strategy side of things. Bruce Cassidy is going to get into that. After the coach walks us through the angle of matching lines, Alec Martinez and Aiden Hill will then discuss this elimination game at home and the possibility of a party. Well, they've got one dynamic line. They've got other very good players. That's why they're where they are, and they rely on that line, and it was the difference last night. Um, so we have certain players we feel that can neutralize it maybe better than others, and sometimes it's night to night. I, I like all our center icemen. They're all good defensively, skate well. That's something to keep up with hints to get over top of them. You have to skate well. So we've used William Carlson, and we've talked about that and why. He's done a good job. Um, and at home, you can control that a little more. Uh, again, we, ne- we don't want to get out of the rhythm of our game, but I'm sure we'll, you'll see tomorrow. We'll try to use that, assuming you know, we're not putting a tired William Carlson line out there because they've just killed a penalty, but on the power play, whatever the case may be. So we're going to trust the people that go over the boards. There's a deep pair involved in that too. Um, you know, I think we had a breakdown on the on the five on five goal just before they scored in our net front situation, we could have put out a fire. So there's some things you can do differently and that's the teaching part of it. Um, so I don't know if he'll try to keep him away all night. Uh, all I know is we're gonna roll our four lines, uh, who they play against, like I said, might change in game, but generally speaking, we trust all our players and Carly's been really good in that role. And if he's the guy that has it, hopefully he's, he has success. Yeah, it's exciting. I mean, any time you pick whether you can, I mean, you obviously want to win in four. You want to close it on the road, but it's always nice to come back and be in front of the home crowd. And, uh, yeah, playing in our building is always a great time. So, you know what, I'm excited for tomorrow. You know, in terms of an approach to the game, you know, it's it's finding that balance between knowing what's at stake and, and you know, also approaching it, you know, as another playoff game. Um, I think the the – you're better off f- focusing on the process, knowing that if you know if if you play a good game, if you play a good 60, if you um, stick to your game, then you know the the end result will take care of itself. Um, I think the guys have done a good job of of going into games with that opportunity. But like I said, it's playoff hockey. It's also the Dallas Stars. I mean, I don't think. Um, you know, I don't think anyone anticipated anyone getting swept on either side of things. This is playoff hockey. Things are, you know, punches are thrown one way or, you know, and, and, and then reciprocated. And, um, you know, they threw a good one last night, and it's up to us to, you know, come back tomorrow and be ready for that and, and you know, play our A game and, and, and try to dictate our pace at home. Vegas will try to be more efficient on special teams. They would love more than one opportunity on the power play. A chance to unleash Jack Eichel and company. Despite being held to a single point, Game 4 was easily one of the best of the playoffs by the Vegas Star Center. Jack could have scored three or more. Certainly had me thinking of another one of those statement Jack Eichel games following in the wake of his previous big performances in the opening two rounds. Here's his coach on the evolution of Jack's game in his first postseason. He just looks more confident, more... um... He's putting himself in situations to demand the puck, and, and by that I mean puck support. He's coming skating, skating off the puck well, so you're almost forced to give it to him. He's finding that ice. Last night was a good example. He was in space quite a bit. Um, breakaway, two-on-one, some outside drives on a couple of their D one-on-one. He took them on. So that's when you know a guy's feeling it, when you start challenging people one-on-one. It's only a matter of time if he gets those opportunities that, that he'll score. Got to credit the goalie last night. He made some good saves on him. Um, so that's where his game's evolved. I think he's a little more just knowing he can be a difference maker. At the start, I think he was, there's a bit of a feeling out process for everybody in their first playoff, and I think he got to it fairly quickly. Um, but that's probably the difference right now. Just a little more, uh, give me the damn puck, and, and uh, I, I want to be a difference maker. And he's done it at both ends of the ice. If you watch him away from the puck, his, when, when it gets turned over, he's the, one of the first guys back, tracking back to try to keep it out of our net. So it's both ends of the ice. The confidence displayed by Eichel, noticeable. The speed at which he's playing, 
very evident. It just jumps out at you. He's making the most of his debut in the Stanley Cup playoffs. And at the risk of offending those who are superstitious, please keep in mind it's the National Hockey League who went this step. The NHL has let us know that if Vegas wins tonight, the final, the Stanley Cup Championship Series, will commence Wednesday afternoon at T-Mobile. All games in the Championship Series to be 5 o'clock starts. Those games will be on TNT. Win tonight. Vegas wins tonight. Media Day will take place Tuesday, Florida in Vegas. They will play Wednesday. Sounds like the perfect kind of schedule. It requires bouncing the stars, however, in opportunity number two tonight. We'll have a full recap on VGK today, tomorrow. Enjoy tonight on TV with our friends at ESPN and on radio on Fox Sports Las Vegas, the flagship station of the Vegas School of the Knights. And we look forward to seeing you in the plaza this afternoon where, Justin, this is the chance, the opportunity, an elimination game, knocking on the door of the Stanley Cup final. We get tatted up, okay? You go first, I'll follow. What's it going to take, buddy? Well, look, Darren, that sounds like a wonderful plan, but I must say, you've been around this team for quite some time. Me, on the other hand, you know, I'm a bit of a newcomer, and I just couldn't live with myself if you didn't get that first opportunity to get that tattoo that you so rightly deserve. So you go on ahead. I'll be right there with you, and I certainly won't have, you know, a prior commitment that that takes me away from the lovely people over at Revolt Tattoo. So I'll be there with you the entire way there on Toshiba Plaza today. Uh, Thanks, as always, to Darren for setting up Game 5 for us. This whole town is excited at the prospect of the VGK getting to another Stanley Cup final. And the building will be rocking tonight, given everything on the line. And if you want to be a part of the atmosphere tonight, well, don't fret. Because holds have been released on tickets to Game 5, meaning that there is an opportunity for you to get tickets to the game. Head over to VegasGoldenKnights.com for tickets and come cheer on the Knights as they're on the brink of history. And as we've alluded to, lots of fun on Toshiba Plaza, including Revolt tattoos. And I think Darren said he's committed to a full sleeve of VGK tattoos on his arm. Uh, So I can't wait to see that. Uh, His word's not mine. Uh, But again, head to VegasGoldenKnights.com if you want to score tickets to tonight's Game 5. And quickly, a reminder for you, if you do plan on coming down to the game again, there is still that traffic delay with Frank Sinatra Drive restricted in both directions. So plan on heading there early, get down to Toshiba Plaza, have some fun if you can, and use traffic apps like Waze on your way there to get the most up-to-date traffic information to ensure that you get to your destination on time. Before we go, I'll remind you to subscribe wherever you get your podcasts so you don't miss a moment of the team's quest for the Stanley Cup right here on VGK Today. Tomorrow, we'll have a recap of Game 5 of the Western Conference Final, hopefully with some good news for the VGK. Justin Russo signing off for Episode 41 of VGK Today, presented by MGM Rewards.